When I was working with uh, Mark Trammell and Sal DeVita on the original NBA Jam, they wanted to have uh, a presentation if you won the, won the game, won the trophy, to maybe have a cheerleader or two. They had actually called the Playboy office and they were asking for models. And at the time I was working as a producer and I happened to answer the phone, it was Jack Hagar. And he, um, he asked me if I knew any cheerleaders and I did know of one who was a playmate. And then I said, well, I would, I could, I could try to fill in for that. I wasn't a cheerleader, but it, I felt like if I could just copy you know, whatever she was doing, we could, you know, kind of fake our way through it. Jack Hagar came to me about Revolution X. He said he needed this character and this character. One was Mistress Helga, and one was a um, cage dancer, like a blonde bimbo cage dancer. I go, well, the blonde bimbo part, I can handle that, you know, <laughs> that's pretty easy. Um, but the Mistress Helga, he already had a name for her, Mistress Helga. Um, he told me her character, how she was, very strict. Um, and I felt like I had a, a grip on that character. She brought in different costume options, uh, one of which was a leather jacket and a black wig. And when she put the black wig on and then put on black sunglasses, she just looked, you know, uh, like, you know, the arch enemy. I mean, she was, she was amazing. The funniest thing about that shoot is we did it all in one day because Aerosmith was there. And, um, we had done the cage dancing part first. So I was the blonde bimbo with, you know, the tight dress on or the swimsuit. And after that, I changed into Mistress Helga. And I walked into the dressing room as Mistress Helga. And uh, Steven Tyler was like, wow. <laughs> he, he couldn't believe it. it was the same person. He's like, yeah, do you do this for your boyfriend? <laughs> I'm like, you are such a pervert. But no, I don't. <laughs> Stop this nonsense now if you don't want to deal with me. Carrie became the, the it girl for Midway for after, I think, probably her appearance in RevX. <laughs> I think after that, everybody wanted to see Carrie for the rest of all Midway games, <laughs> so they did.